Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have something special. A coworker of mine has let me borrow one of his father's Rolex watches. It is a Datejust and it's really cool because it's all here. Box, papers, uh, service records, even uh, the old crystal. So uh, I'm gonna throw on my specs. Thanks PRK, I've got 2020 but I can't see up close. <laughs> All right, so this, uh, I've got some invoices here. It looks like this is dated back in 1984 for an appraisal. And it was appraised at $1,444.80 for a Rolex Datejust. And it looks like uh, Doug's dad had this serviced back in 1996 and the servicing cost was $429 so hey that's pretty cool we got some service records here here's the uh, bits and pieces there's a gasket the crystal with the cyclops and the extra links it's all here the instruction manuals, Rolex Datejust, Rolex Oyster, it's all here. And the box, outer box. And the inner box. So, um, I'm not gonna show it to you because I've got it on a leather strap. Uh, we're gonna, this is a little bit longer video today uh, because I actually cleaned the original bracelet. It had a lot of gunk on it. So uh, you, this is a great before and after video of all the gunk that was on this baby and uh, what it looks like when it's all said and done. So sit back, grab some popcorn and watch me clean this bad boy and bring it into 2019. I have just removed his bracelet and it's a little janky in there. So I am going to carefully clean the gunk and grime out of there uh, just with a soft cloth, a moist soft cloth. Uh, this is not going to get wet. But it definitely can use a cleaning, poor guy. And let's take a look at this bracelet. This, um, I've removed it. We're going to put a leather strap on it, but you can see just the inside gunk of those hollow end links. That's pretty nasty. Uh, I'm just I'm gonna hit this with my Sonicare toothbrush. <laughs> and uh, let's see if we can clean up some of that nastiness. And if Doug wants to put this back on his watch, I have removed the link for him so it should fit him perfectly but uh, this is going to be a before uh, before we hit it with the Sonicare just see how it turns out that's pretty nasty all right so uh, I've just got a small little dish of uh, warm water with uh, just some uh, hand antibiotics you know uh, so nothing uh, too severe if it's safe enough for our hands, it should be safe enough for the watch. I'm just going to dump it in here and let it soak for five minutes. So I'm just coming in here with a, uh, a warm washcloth and just kind of, you know, slowly. Oh my gosh, there's a serial number underneath there. Again, this has a screw down crown, so there's probably 
maybe 50 meters water resistance on this watch, but it is vintage, so we are not going to submerge it or subject it to any um, excessive amount of water. But this stuff's pretty caked on, so it, we do have to use a little bit of um, uh, soft cloth, uh, damp cloth. Here's a before you know, on one side, it looks pretty nasty, and here's this side. It's getting there. I'm gonna use some uh, Sonic Care and just kind of get down into that crack. Getting there. Woo! Beauty. All right, here's another before. We're now working on the other side. So here's the clean side. Here's the nasty side. Oh my God, look at that thing. Beauty. All right, she's looking good. Next stop will be the bracelet. All right, while we were cleaning the head of the, uh, the watch, the, the case and everything, and those lugs, this thing was soaking in hot, soapy water for about over five minutes. And uh, I'm just gonna take this and I don't know if you remember, but there was some nastiness right in there. It's still there. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. Not a lot. This thing is pretty nasty. It's a problem with, ho oh man, look. Look at that nastiness getting on my fingers. Ooh, check. Ooh, this is a nasty area. Notorious for gunk. guys we're all done here's what the watch looks like now the bracelet no more dirt and grime inside that clasp rugs are awesome watch is nice and clean been given a new life. All right, one of the problems with uh, this date just is the the two tone uh, stainless steel and gold bracelets. Um, takes an acquired taste. It was, I'm sure, a big deal back in the 80s when this watch was originally purchased. But we're gonna try and replace the bracelet 
with a leather strap made by Heronmark. Again, I really like this company, Heronmark. I think they make some really nice straps. I recommend it to Doug to give these a try. He doesn't like messing around with his watches. He knows somebody who does, so he gave them to me. And we're going to throw these on, see how they look. All right, let's check it out. All right, a little bit of finagling. The leather strap easily went on. Welcome to the fashion of 2019. I did set the time, I set the date. Happy birthday, Air Force. All right, and here's what it looks like on the wrist. Again, I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist. I think it looks really nice. Cool. All right, let's take it back. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you had a fun time watching me get the gunk and crap uh, off the Rolex Datejust that Doug let me borrow. Um, it's uh, ready to go. It looks really sharp with that leather uh, strap and the blue dial and the, the gold fluted bezel, just beautiful. So uh, Doug, thanks for letting me uh, play with the watch, clean it up, and get it back to you brand spanking new, and I hope you really enjoy it. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this uh, episode of Mountain Standard Time. If you liked the video, please give me a like. Please subscribe by hitting a bell somewhere around here, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.